Cinewhoops are an amazing tool for getting just this fantastic cinematic footage that's hyper stable, moving slow, very smooth. Jeff and Tyler have a little bit different of an idea of what these machines should be used for and they're just tearing up the warehouse right now. We get a lot of questions about you know, what are the differences in the way you fly a 5 inch versus you fly one of the Cinewhoops and usually the answer is a 5 inch is much more capable of acro and racing and the Cinewhoops are going to be slower, more docile and more just for like cinematic flying. But what if you take a Cinewhoop and try to really shred it anyway? So what are the main features of the the acro? I had to make some adjustments to the warehouse and uh, just rip out some wood. It wasn't structurally sound wood. anyways, so we just yanked her down because ever since we moved in here, I wanted this to be a dive gate, and now it is. So that side's still good for storage. Yes. And so that's responsibility on the left, dive gate on the right. Dive gate on the right. I think that's a fair compromise. You got a his and hers, right? This is obviously his over here. This is where we do the diving. This is where mom keeps her storage over here. You'd be surprised what you can do with just like some tables. The tables are a blast too. I'm questioning the table ad. Is this actually the best layout for receiving and packing things? Or is this the is. best layout for power loops? No, it is. Is it really? It's, it's perfect for both. <laughs> when I built these shelves, I made it so the top is already a gate. <laughs> How do you like that? What's the purpose of... Um, of uh that <laughs> for diving you gotta have a dive gate i don't know if osha would like it or not but it feels pretty strong to me it's good strap it on the pack right what now. do you do differently the only difference is i'm using a 850 ma 4s instead of his 1300. what's the advantage there eh, i think i'm a little bit lighter a little more nimble do you think you can fly it better than him because of that i definitely think i can fly better than him. Oh! i didn't know they were going to be having all the fun with the cine whoops i've been working on mine but this is the current it's not, it's not done yet. I didn't know we were doing this today. Energizing me. This is like the funnest thing I've done in a long time. Cleaning it just because I want the video to look good and be flying around in here, not because it should be clean, because I want to fly later. I'm like, I want to get it real tidy in here. It's nice you, you found a way to fly indoor because oh. the weather's so bad out here in Florida. I know, it's miserably perfect. <laughs> I almost cried the other day when I walked outside. I was like, I like it here? <laughs> it's so cold at home. This is amazing here. The office, out of the main room, and then start over. So you set the course? I set the course. Do you actually know the course? Kind of. It's been a long time since I raced. You My see. racing days, I was really good at racing when people could barely do the track. That was when I really excelled. Once everybody started going fast, I was like, okay, I retire. All right, you guys, you're practicing now. I don't know. This is not for me. All right, I'm your host, Les Scully, and we are at the first weekly Rotor Riot Cinewhoop Spectacular. Jeff Jaboy Vortex versus Tyler Groose Crane. Racers, arm your quads. In less than five. What was that? What was that? Oh, my God. Yeah. Beep! <laughs> <laughs>
to be the Cinewhoop Racing Champion of the Rotorat Warehouse. Feels fantastic, and yeah. it's, it's a title that's gonna stay with me for a long time, I can feel it. All right guys, I got my Cinewhoop together, and these guys are making it look way too much fun. I'm, I built this thing to do actual Cinewhoop flying. I just wanted to have a, the tool to do the, the cool smooth stuff, and I feel really guilty that I'm just gonna like, I, maybe I'll take it easy. I don't want to crash it right away. <laughs> I might. I have heard that before. <laughs> the gnarliest trick you can think of. You just did all the craziest stuff. I don't know. <laughs> going ham, going through everything and all the dives. <laughs> Have any of you guys hit this yet? Oh man, there's two. Can you see? There's two beams right there. So they gotta dive between those two beams and hug the wall. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. So it's like a double dive gap. Ridiculous. Where do you start from? I guess. I don't know, wherever. Sure. You just have to dive. I don't feel confident about doing What? I can only hit the five by five foot dive gate like one out of every six tries. How many, first try? You gotta redeem yourself, because <laughs> Jeff's naturally <laughs> at racing. Tyler's feeling confident right now. Although he was really confident he was gonna beat you at racing too, and we he saw how that worked that, out. It didn't work out there great. You know, the, the double dive? Yeah, you're kind of sitting right in the, you know what? It's a, it's a ducks, ducks on it. it. I'm just gonna go over here. He says he's got ducks on it, like it's, okay. <laughs> 